So in acuity scheduling or Squarespace scheduling, I just use what's called appointment types. I don't use categories that they have available. Like, uh, I know I'm not even sure where the heck categories are. Um, they don't, they, it's not obvious here where, where it is. Uh, but anyway, appointment types is down here under business settings. I'm not, am I blind? Am I not seeing categories? Because it's not obvious here. So uh, under appointment types, it's not even under here, right? Like, I, I don't know why they even, you know, when, when you go into an appointment type editing itself, there's a category. I don't know why that. Anyway, so I just create a bunch of appointment types. Um, let me show you here. That include everything from a paid one-on-one -on -one session to case study interviews to, um, you know, to, to group calls, pay, you know, like private client group calls, like a master heart or a, a, a you know, a larger, larger private group call or, or, or a webinar, like a free to attend webinar would, would be, would be in here as well. So, I, and then in terms of the flow, right, like Gregory, you and I have been talking about the flow of it. Let's say, you know, some people think that the way Acuity works, you're supposed to create everything and everything is public. And when they go, go to your Acuity, they see all the different types of appointments they can book. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't like that idea. I make all my appointments private. I don't make any of them public. I mean, let me, let me show you. I, I, don't, I actually don't think, like there's something here, private or public access. Clients can book this on your scheduling page. You know, I never send people to my scheduling page. That's the other thing. There is a generic acuity scheduling page that if you make things public, they'll see all of the appointments available. And I just find that really confusing when people send that to me. I'm like, well, which one of these should I book? You know, <laughs> I'm like this. And uh, even if they told me, I'm like, okay, I have to think about which one they told me. So I just make everything private. And basically I send them the direct link to schedule it. I either send them the direct scheduling link which um, did I just copy it? Let me, let, me, let me go back to, yeah, here it is, the direct sketch. So I either send them to something like this that I don't have to design, it's already here. This is for the monthly Q and A call. There are two uh, different time zones or I send them to a page where I've already, I've already, um, I've already uh, embedded the acuity. So this is either the one-on-one -on -one scheduling or the webinar, it's same, same idea. I describe what that appointment is, whether it's one-on-one -on -one coaching or exploratory call or whatever it is. And then I embed that acuity appointment type here. And even if it's private, it's still embeddable. It's still viewable once I embedded it, right? So that's the, that's the trick. And so for example, if you are doing exploratory calls, fine. You send people to, you know, gregorybahanian.com slash, you know, explore or whatever. They land there. They see the description of the call. Maybe there's a video, whatever. And then there's the embedded acuity scheduling calendar that, they, oh, great. I, I, yes, I want to book this call. They go and book it. And then once you have a great conversation and you actually want to invite them to become a client, yes, at that point, you then send them to your hidden page on it. Because I don't think it's a good idea to have your, you know, I mean, depending on the business model, but I feel like for many of us, we don't just want some random person to like buy a package from us. <laughs> you say, George, I would like a random person to randomly buy packages for me. But no, because if they might not be the right fit, you end up, you know, they end up not showing up or you end up refund. Anyway, so that's why paid booking links are probably not just public anywhere on your site. And, and you do send yeah, what's public is the explore explore page. Or if for the person who is getting more exploratory call of bookings than they than they want, which you'll get there at some point and have that lucky problem, then it's not an explore booking page. It's an apply for a, for an exploratory call page where they have to fill out a, some information and then you send them if you like their responses, you send them the booking page. But at this point, Greg, what you're saying is if they book with me, I like them, we like each other. I'm going to email them the, the paid booking link, which doesn't have to be a designed page at that point. If, if you both like each other, and especially if, if the call went well and they're like, yes, I want to work with you, right? Then if, you know, even if you didn't have a chance yet to develop a wonderful designed 
you know, booking page, you can literally create a, a paid appointment type in Acuity and just send them this direct link to say, all right, here's the, here's the link to like, you know, pay, you know, pay for a pay for a session kind of thing, uh, which you can even have in a, a little bit of an intake form right within Acuity. They could tell you what they want to talk about and even say a bit more. So beautiful. Pretty cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anything yeah. else about this? I think for the time being, that's it. I guess just to reflect back, part of what I heard you say, uh, there, was a, there was a lot of gold in there. Part of what I heard you say um, is that really only for the time being, at least, the only thing I, like in terms of next steps, what I need to do is simply set up the, uh, for the uh, exploratory call. Yeah, explore, that, the that's the only types. thing that I need to incorporate into the website. Yeah, exactly. For the time uh, you being. know, yeah, you, you have a web page for exploratory call. You describe it, maybe have a little video of you inviting them to it, and then, and then create the appointment type in Acuity, and then get the uh, in, embedding code, which which I'll show you. Like if I if I if I if I create a new type of service, um, let me see if I can do this right now. I create a new type, new type of service. Well, I'm not going to do this right now, but let's say I filled everything out. I created a new type of service. What it's then going to look like is um, they're going to, you know, you're, you know, once you create a new type of service, you'll have um, this thing called direct scheduling link up here. And when you click on it, you can click on embed scheduler and copy this code and put it onto your site. And it'll turn out to be a nice, you know, embedded calendar. Beautiful. So, yeah. Thank you so very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Thank you.